I want to show you how to change the dry band on a sidekick. So the first step is to remove your flyer and bob. Now you're going to remove your front and your back maidens. You're holding on one side and turning the knob on the right side. And then you're just going to slide that all off instead of that side. I'm going to remove my Scotch tension spring and just put it on the side. And even though you're going to probably be cutting off your old dry band, I'm just going to slide this one out from in between this keeper and the um, pulleys. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the rear maiden. Same process as before. And just slide it out, take it off. Now we need to unhook the footman. Now we need to open up the trail so we can spread them apart. And then I'm gonna fold this right side treadle up. And if you want, you can secure it back here if you feel like it's gonna give you trouble or, or you can just leave it, but I'll just secure it. Move these two bolts down here so we can open up the, the framework and get your old band out and your new one in. So you don't have to take them all the way out um, but you can. You just need to release them from the insert on the other side. So that one's released. It's easier for me to have a little more hand space, so I move the wheel to the side of the table. That should be enough. Now I'm gonna lie the wheel on its side on the folded up trip. So I'll be on the right side. So now, I can get this dry band out of here. Just, there's a little space that opens up when you take this, remove the side bolts, and that's where I'm taking the old band off. Okay, then that will just be set aside, and now we're ready to put the new band on. Okay, I have my new band here, and I'm gonna slip it in those slots again, where it's just opened up in the framework. Okay, and then it just goes around the wheel here and comes up. So that's just going to lie there for now. Now we're going to turn the wheel back up. And now over here, we're going to screw those bolts in. And what I find um, helps is to hold it together on this side so that you know that your insert is up against there when you screw this bolt back in. And this should be snug. And then you're gonna do this side. So the dry band's gonna go up here, around the bottom. And this is just gonna hold here temporarily. You gotta get it into this little groove here, okay? And then you can just put it here to hold it, okay? And now, I'm gonna fold this other treadle down, push it together, secure it with the quick release. I'm gonna put the footman back on. this side. Now it's time for the front maidens. I have to line up this hole with this slot. So I'm just going to put that in there, find the hole. 
then it should go to the other side. Washer and my knob. I'm kind of holding this up with one hand and also holding the quick release. So you need to hold that as you're turning the knob. So on the rear maiden, you're gonna line up a hole with a hole. So you're just gonna have to put this, you're gonna put this in in front of this post and slide that until you find, to you get the holes to match up. So, oh, very good. Now we have the washer and the knob on the back. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Place the Scotch tension string into the keeper in the back. So it just goes through that eyelet and you grab it. So now that's ready for the plier and bobbin. So let's check our, our band. It's going under the left side. So in back of the pulley and on the right side, it's in front of the pulley. We gotta get your scotch tension band over the bobbin. Now we got our dry band. I think we should all be good. Let's give it a try. Alrighty, I think we're good to go.